Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Matt, Christy, Alonzo, uh, Juno, no, not Juno Temple, who am I thinking? Diablo, yeah, Cody. Diablo <laughs> Cody, sorry, I don't know why I get those two confused. Because yourself. you were thinking the movie Juno. Juno, right, of course, Juno screenwriter, Diablo Cody, and uh, that Reitman guy are together again uh, for the third time uh, with Tully. Tully, okay, so Charlize Theron stars as a mom and a wife, and she's already got two kids, and she's super pregnant and fixing to pop with a third and feel just totally overwhelmed just keeping the house running. And her brother, played by Mark Duplass, offers to give her the gift of a night nurse, played by Mackenzie Davis. And at first she is reluctant to take him up on this, and then increasingly finds just how hard it is to have three kids, including a newborn when you are 40 years old, and says yes. And so Tully shows up, and she's magical. Take a look. <gasps> No, no, no! Do you know what a night nanny is? They take care of the baby at night so mom and dad can get some sleep. I don't want a stranger in my house. It's like a Lifetime movie where the nanny tries to kill the family and the mom survives and she has to walk with a cane at the end. Hello. I'm Telly. I'm here to take care of you. I hold a baby all day, and then nighttime rolls around and I'm supposed to just switch gears, like, hello, I'm all sexy now. You're empty. Yeah. No, you're empty on this side. <sighs> so, uh, I was pretty impressed with this movie. I was pretty wowed by it and pretty moved by it, and I, I love how it's, it's detailed and intimate and relatable as far as being a parent but also it's got narrative ambition and the two actresses together are amazing. They have crazy chemistry. I bought it from the very beginning. Um, Tully's character evolves and at first when she arrives, you think that I'm gonna quote myself that she's the nanny pixie dream girl. <laughs> Thank you, I'm so, so proud of myself for that one. And uh, and she just seems like you know, quirky and lovely and says all the right things at all the right times and then you learn more as the film goes on and, and it gets deeper and more emotionally powerful and I loved it. I agree with everything you say except for the narrative ambition part because okay. I think the narrative ambition is for me is where it goes off the rails a little. Okay. And the, here's the part part, I can't talk about what bothers me in this movie without yeah. spoiling not, something. Just, so I'm not going to do not, that. And let's not even spoil it, there might be a spoiler. Well, too late for that, okay. but in any event. <laughs> so yeah, I can't talk about the thing that bothers me in this movie, but there's a thing that bothers me in this movie and, I, and what mainly bothers me is that the movie doesn't need it because the movie is so, uh, deeply felt and observant about the minutia of being a mother again and like having two kids that are already a handful and now this baby that constantly needs your attention and what it does to your body and what it does to your mind and not being able to sleep and all the, you know, the 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 breast pumping. I mean, like they really capture the the, the the quotidian mm -hmm. aspects of motherhood, these super unglamorous, unglowy, un yep. like greeting card moments of it. And <laughs> I love that stuff. And 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 Charlie Saron is giving an extraordinary performance. And Mackenzie Davis is great. And I mean like everybody's good in this movie. Like the husband is played by Ron, Ron Livingston and Duplass is fun and the kids are good. Um, and I totally love what this movie is going for and I think it nails so much of it. And then it does this thing and I'm like, did we did we have to did we must we movie and that kind of bugs me. But you know, um, Ingu Kang, who somehow had the luxury of seeing this twice, wow. says that she was kind of eh on the first viewing and then loved it on the second viewing. So if I had that kind of time and could see it again, <laughs> maybe it would change it for me. But for my one viewing, I was kind of like, oh, movie, you were so close. I think it played at Sundance. Uh, I may have. Yeah. I think it played at Sundance. That's why folks might have seen it early. Go ahead. Got it. I, I like this one a lot, and I'm gonna warn you now. I probably gave you a too low score when I was first thinking about it. Math. Um, tricky, uh, tricky, fickle yeah, mistress. I, of I math. like this a lot. I was, you know, all the stuff you said. Like it's really, it, it's it's really kind of honest and grounded, and you know, it takes the. I think the casting of Charlize Theron is great because we know how glamorous she's capable of being. And so mm -hmm. to see her be, I don't want to use necessarily the word brave, but you know, you can see. Ego free. The, the, well, or not even ordinary. ego free. It's she's just, an ordinary mom. Right, it's no, just no, no, like, but I'm saying the, the, her, the, what she does to herself. I see. Right, and how she allows herself like, to be filmed. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's kind of it, right? It's, it's, it's not that she's particularly unattractive, but it's just kind of like, look, like motherhood is rough and parenthood is rough and this, one of the things this movie nails is, you know, there's times where it's like, ah, oh, these 
goddamn kids. Like, just <laughs> leave me alone. And it doesn't help that they've got a kid that is quirky, as mm. they right. keep saying, and you get this sense of her frustration. And, you know, that's, and what I'm impressed with, you know, most of Reitman's filmmaking is that he's studying, you know, except for maybe what was the one, Labor Day, which I really didn't Woo. particularly care for, but his other movies, you know. Men, he, women, and children? Well, but like <laughs> this one, and Juno, and Up in the Air. Young Adult. Young, young Adult, great, yeah. you know, he does, when he's on, he does these really fascinating explorations of where people are in their lives versus where they thought they should be, or, you know, their day-to-day -day versus how that plays out against what they may have grown up thinking they were going to do or where you know where their dreams were and what they have to make peace with now and this is a really fascinating spin on that and this would be a really good double feature with Brad status <laughs> yeah maybe so i actually think this would be kind of a really interesting double feature with Juno of all things yeah. right like the other side of Juno like being pregnant too young and maybe pregnant too <laughs> right too or young. you know or if not Juno, then young adult. Young adult, right? certainly, this is, yeah. You know, what would happen to the Charlize Theron character yeah. if she had married early rather than go off and do what she yeah. does? If she had settled down and settled. Right. right, no, they're all of a piece, definitely. And also, I think, extensions of Diablo Cody at very, various parts of her life. I mean, she was inspired to write this after having had a third child of her own. Mm. And she got a night nurse, and she was reluctant to do that at first. And she thought, oh, this is amazing. I can sleep. <laughs> a night nurse stays awake and like takes care of the baby. You can get some sleep in those early days when you have a newborn. And it's like they really get in this film the sensation of the way time slips away from you and your right. days are marked by just the routine of like yes. feeding and pumping and changing and crying and waking and maybe sleeping. And the fact that like maybe at the end of the day you realize, oh, I haven't set foot outside of the house all day. I'm still wearing my bathrobe. I haven't, I haven't brushed my teeth. <laughs> like these things happen and you just, you're in this bubble with this thing. And they yeah, really, the they montages really of chunk, chunk, It's chunk, edited chunk, really great. well, but this is no like, wacky confectionery ode to motherhood. Like there's no yeah. hilarious mad dash to the hospital and, and there's no glow of euphoria afterward. Like when, after she has her baby and she hands it off to, to a nurse in the hospital room, the look on her face is like, like sort of detached anxiety. Like, okay, this is coming and I'm not ready for it. Like I, I love the, the truth of all of that. Um, yeah. And the son, as you mentioned, they, say they call him quirky. He's somewhere on the spectrum, well, but they, they don't they, call it by his They name. finally use the word atypical. Right, but, which, but, right. You know, but that's, that's, that's as close as they get to anything resembling a diagnosis. But that's, that's so sharp the way Diablo Cody kind of skewers like the the gauzy facades of society. Like like you know, they won't call it by its name. They no. won't address it for what it is. And then eventually he he and you know ends up where he probably belongs. And but everyone is sort of dancing around it just to be polite. Right. Yeah. The the scenes with the school principal are brilliant. Yeah. I don't know the name of that actress, mm -hmm. but the the what's being said and what's not being said and the the cheeriness of all of it, even though it's something kind of terrible. And it's so false. Is, yeah, it's great. <laughs> right, and and I think one of the things this movie does really well is it captures the kind of exhaustion that Marlo has, that this Charlize Theron's character, that tips into despair, right? And that's kind of what first prompts her to get out the number, because initially she resists the idea mm. of the night nanny. Like, she's like, oh, I'm not gonna turn my kid over to strangers, what the hell? And then she has she this cites, moment where she cites she, Lifetime movies. Yeah, <laughs> right. And then she gets so overwhelmed one day, or seeming like she, you know, you see her fish the number out, and and then you see Tully show up. Mm -hmm. And there's a ref, um, there's a reference to her having had postpartum depression on the second right. baby as well. So there's that, yeah. you know. But but what it also addresses though is how you want to sort of cling to that young, fun person that you used to be, right? Like yeah. She's yeah. still in there, that cool, fun person is still in there, and Tully helps her rediscover that while also reminding her that, yeah, I have accomplished things that maybe I don't give myself enough credit for. So it's an, it's an interesting kind of ever-evolving dynamic between the two of them that always really works. Right. Um, their bond is lovely and funny and true. So yeah, this really, really worked for me, and oh, the ending snuck up on me. Oh my goodness, the last shot. Ugh. The last shot is like happy sad. No, I, and, it I know is, you don't get it because you're not a girl. You right. haven't had a mom. No, I, or, or, or a child. I mean, I mean, I had a mom. No, 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 <laughs> clearly, you know what I mean. <laughs> It got to. Me. No, I look. I again. I think there's. In fact, I think I went low on my number two. There's a lot that I really love about this movie, but there is a narrative choice that the film right. makes that just 
bug the crap out of me because the movie doesn't need it. It's so good and it just, it felt like a cheat to me. All right, so do we all wanna change our numbers then? <laughs> I like my number an awful lot and okay. it's a 9.2. Do you guys wanna change your numbers? I'm gonna go numbers? up to seven and a half. Uh, I'm gonna go up to eight and a half. Okay, so that's, so, so the 8.4 is our- 8.4, uh, is it 90%? Um, yeah, this is great. Please go see it, whether you are a parent or not. And Matt has some information that will help you go see it. Oh, this. yes. Uh, we partnered with Adam Tickets. Uh, if you enter the code WTF5, uh, first-time users uh, will get $5 off your first purchase uh, so you can support us while you save some money on this movie, which we all recommend. Yeah. Yes, please go see it. Thanks. Bye.